for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snip it up the Mad Cheese as always. Got a top five defense video for you guys today. Today I'm be going over my top five blitzes and pass defenses to use in Mad 22 right now. If you guys would like to see the full versions of these videos, because a lot of these plays are from schemes, I will have links in the description for you guys to check out. Make sure you check out this full video first. Other than that, if you guys want to see more videos like this, as always, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. If you want to stay up to date on the hottest Madden trends, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Other than that, let's go let's get right into the video. The formation is the 4-3, even 6-1. That's the play I'm going to show you guys today, the cover two. As far as the defense goes, like I said, there's, there's multiple ways to run this. I'm going to show you the way that I've been doing it up to a year. Uh, it might be a little bit of a longer setup, but to me, it's a little bit more consistent when it comes to run plays, especially uh, because there's not as much gaps. Uh, but it's a really good pressure package. So without a doubt, easiest way to do this play. I'm going to do my, my, my Y triangle to bring up my coverage adjustments. Then I'm going to base a line, and then I'm going to do it again, base a line and show blitz. Uh, and that brings all the, uh, the, the, the defenders down. I can also uh, show blitz again to back these guys off, uh, which I think is just fine because ultimately I find that hard flatting with a blitz like this is going to make the most sense so this is pretty much going to be the base then the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to use my d-pad to the left and down to pinch that defensive line then i'm going to go the opposite direction d-pad and to the right and down to uh, basically blitz all my linebackers then the last thing i'm going to do is d-pad to the left and up to slant outside i'll have a setup in the description because i know that's a lot now there i didn't even get to do everything but you can see this i wasn't even paying attention i didn't even do the full setup right and i still got the sack obviously i mean there's only five blockers so that plays a big part but let's go to the replay because like i said i didn't even do everything i was supposed to be doing but you could see the alignment the fact that i'm hard flying the fact that these safeties are playing a little bit closer to the box than normal it's going to make it to the point where they get involved in early routes maybe a little bit sooner than normal but ultimately i did hard flat so even though these guys are backed off they will play down to the point where they're going to get in the way of the, uh, the the short check and releases now as far as the the, the blitz goes like i said i want to typically be down over the center but you can see once again we have an additional additional guy sprinting in so nobody's going to really get open in the amount of time needed so basically it's a six on five which is pretty obvious but the purpose of this and me showing this in the replay is ultimately this alignment this spread this angle is why these guys will basically sprint in past anybody uh, as you can see this just they're just going to take a an instant path to the quarterback pinch the defensive line and slant them out then we're just going to blitz all and guess pass i didn't really mention there uh so it's a really quick setup it's really not that long if you're used to doing it like i said i've been doing it for over a year i could do it with a blindfold on so then i really have two options now, number one this is a play action play so the running back is going to stay in the block but i find that the best way to get pressure on a play like this and the majority of these plays is going to be taking this guy here whoever's over the running back and bring him in this is going to be my user i bring him into the line because i want this offensive line to shift in my direction so basically the path to the around the running back is going to be quickest from this defensive end the op the guy opposite the running back because the play axe is basically going to take him out of the play and me being on this side basically gives me the opportunity to basically just drop back right away or cover the running back if i want to you know if i hard flat or whatever i want to do whatever i decide to do this gives me an option to basically be the center of the field or to be um you know like i said take away the running back or whoever so i'm going to stay over this tackle for just a second then basically drop back and you can see the guy just gets in free formation is the two four five out of the nickel that's the buck slam three one of the best ways to run this to me is slant your defensive line inside and then you want to want to put your x uh defensive end on a bluff blitz that's all i'm really going to do then i'm going to bring my 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 user here put him on a blitz come right over the center and i'm going to work my way back into the left once the play starts because i want to basically pull away uh, from this cornerback you see we actually get two guys in that's one of the things about this play is you have two looping pressure blitz plays. Now, one of the things that makes uh, blocking so good in Madden these days than in previous years is the ability for linemen to switch uh, defensive linemen and blitzers off. They basically pass them off from one guy to the next. And that's really what makes this play so glitchy is there's so much chaos going on over on this side that a lot of times they'll make too many switches because they don't know what they're looking at. So you're gonna watch Brown here. He switches off, he basically passes off the first guy. Then he passes off the second guy to nobody because he expects 
the running back to be available, I guess. The running back takes out the cornerback, but you can see how Brown here, like he doesn't know what's going on. He just basically does a double switch and ends up blocking nobody. He just lets the linebacker get straight through. So a lot of times the cornerback will come in unblocked, especially if there's no running back blocking. But if the running back is blocking, a lot of times they'll switch to a point where they basically just let the linebacker come in free, making this one of the glitcher blitzes in the game. So slant inside. Like I said, that's all you gotta do. And we're gonna bluff. Bluff our, our defensive end, come over the center, create chaos and like i said i'm just going to basically back away to the left and just let these switches happen Woo! boom the cornerback comes in straight because we had no blitz we had no running back blocking that time i'm going to be using it out of the big nickel over g whether you like to run cover two which i think to me cover two is probably the better defense right now or cover three which it also has the exact same thing to me the best setup without a doubt, is going to be um, pinching the defensive line and slanting to the left, not necessarily slanting uh, out. I, I find this is the best setup here. because And I also find that you can also motion this, this guy over here just to try to pull all the linemen to this side as much as possible. This is probably the ideal setup. So we'll go and we'll do this a couple times. Uh, this is something where you know we should get pressure right off the edge. You can see right here the running back was blocking. He just got he just completely missed and uh, you know stones the quarterback, which is another reason why I was saying you always want to run this blitzer off of this side, off the opposite side of the running back. It, it works to stop the run, and it works with the blitz because this guy here is on a straight pass block, but he cannot get around quick enough to stop this blitzing quarterback. That's why you always want to make sure that you're blitzing opposite the running back. It works in every situation. So you can see right here, this guy just comes right off the edge screaming. We got a five on six. Uh, as we only have five blitzers because I'm not a blitzer. I back out pretty quickly. But you can see we have a five with six blockers and the five wins. A really easy blitz to set up too. I mean, it's only really two steps. Um, although there is a third step. If this cornerback isn't down on the box, into the box enough, you got to move him down. You got to mainly move him down. So all you really have to do, pinch your defensive line, slant them away from the blitzing cornerback, and then bring your user down here. Now I'm also going to do um, this hard flat uh, because I think that the computer's going to be thrown underneath quite a bit. Uh, but this is, you know, this is pretty much it. So right here, you got to take away those short throws. You can see he comes in again. That looked like the exact same play. Now the formation is the Dollar Sugar 3-2. Now the number one pass defense on this to me, I mean, I love cover two. I'm going to say it's the, uh, the DB Fire 2. Now as far as this setup goes, it looks, it's going to look a lot like, um, you know, the, the previous setup. I mean, all I have to do is pinch my defense one more time, QB contain, uh, guess pass, and then put my user on a blitz one more time. I have my option of bringing these safeties down, which makes a lot of sense, but ultimately, you know, you don't want to bring this guy in too far away from his responsibility because there is a receiver out there, but you can bring this guy down a lot closer, and then this is pretty much going to be the play. Like I said, I'm going to guess pass. I'm just going to basically, you know, drop back the second the play starts like you do on most blitzes in this game, uh, and then Woo! you can see we get instant pressure off the side there, which is going to be something that you can get against any look any formation so watching the replay i mean it's pretty much going to be the exact same thing under center obviously is uh going to be huge uh but the running back is on a pass block he he does he play actions which takes him out of position but he is on a pass block and for some reason we get two free guys in both of the cornerbacks get him free you can see i don't know if it's because i pulled these these linemen so well but this is one of the best offensive lines in the game and i basically just pull uh you know two of the best linemen and quinn nelson and Ryan Kelly, these guys here are probably the two best linemen on the team, and they end the play blocking nobody. Think about this play. You don't want to bring the cornerbacks in too close because you don't want them to get detected too soon. So, like here, you can move uh, this cornerback out a little bit, and that's going to uh, be helpful. Um, you could also leave these guys out wide. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I'm pinching them in as out of you know habit when it comes to the run defense, but I'm not expecting a run. As you can see right there, I didn't even know what happened. He just got right over the DT, I guess. So as we watch this replay one more time, we actually had three guys get in against five blockers. We're only sending five, and three got in free against five blockers. That's insane. So ultimately, you can see that these um, this cornerback here comes in free off the edge as he never gets touched by anybody. The cornerback on the other side does the exact same thing, although Fisher does get off. He does switch off just in time to basically just get a piece of him, but that never would have mattered. And then what happened over the middle is we get an instant A-gap because ultimately these guys uh, in the interior line are trying to figure out how to switch and block all these guys. So the center tries to switch off the 64, I guess. He never picks him up. I don't know what happened there uh, as he basically just lets him walk right through the middle. Like I said, this is just a super glitchy blitz. And the formation itself is the 3-4 odd. I'm gonna show you a play that's primarily a pass defense, which is the pinch dog to press. Now, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at AOEH.com. If you guys wanna get your Mutt team up and support the channel at the same time, 
All I have to do is check them out and use discount code email. That's right, they changed it up. They're actually giving you guys 6% off right now if you use discount code email rather than my traditional uh, discount code, which was money. So if you wanna get 6% off, use discount code email, you get 6% off everything on their website. Now I went ahead and I chose random gun. Uh, in the first play, here's gonna be an empty backfield look, but that doesn't really matter. So ultimately, I'm just going to do the exact same setup that I did before. I'm going to base align show blitz, and that's gonna basically set this uh, this pre-snap defense up. The only real change that I, I'm gonna make, I mean, the original video that I showed you guys, I blitzed all linebackers and I guessed pass. That's pretty much gonna be the setup now, but now I realize, and it's not just because I have an empty backfield look, but I've noticed, and I've been using this a lot online, that when I bring up my defensive ends, I have the option to drop one of these guys back straight into a vertical hook and I can still have success. Typically what I do is whatever side has the most receivers, I will drop the defensive end back into a vertical hook and you'll see that it basically just gives me an extra defender. Before I started doing this, I was pretty much on an island. I was the only person I would stay in this gap, then I would drop back uh, and try to cover the middle by myself. Now I have the ability to do that. And you can see we're really have we're gonna have a five man blitz that will get the exact same amount of pressure as the previous six or seven man blitz, which is essentially what it thinks it is because I'm on the blitz. And you'll see we get much, much better coverage. So like I said, just make sure that you uh, guess pass. And this is pretty much gonna be it. I'm gonna have to stay home for about a half a second before I drop back. You can see the defensive end comes right off the edge uh, and they're basically just chucking it up into the zone. I, I played that poorly. So here we go again. We're gonna give our it's a quick setup too which is something that's helpful we're going to give ourselves the vertical hook on the defensive end over the over the bunch and like i said that'll free me up a little bit on the other side here i got to either follow the running back or you know just basically play right over the middle and you can see we get some crazy pressure i think we had two guys coming in there which like i said we only have five guys coming so watch what happens here this is super glitchy watch what happens to this right tackle here because of the vertical hook basically he's going to react to that vertical hook and block nobody the second the play starts that vertical hook drops back and he lets the A-gap linebacker go right past, and he lets the outside linebacker go right around him while he just stands there and blocks nobody. So I'm just going to do this one more time. I'm not going to do, do this a lot because ultimately I already showed this play. This is just an additional step to give you more coverage. Uh, once again, I have three receivers on the left side, so I'm going to come over here, be this linebacker, drop this defensive end back. Like I said, this just gives me a more opportunity to freelance. If I feel the need to chase that running back down, I can do that. Um, you know, there's all types of stuff I can nope. do here. And you can see that must have been pressure related because you got rid of the ball instantly. So we're going to see the exact same reaction in the replay on the left side this time. The left tackle is going to have the exact same reaction to that hook curl he's basically just going to let this guy run right past him and the quarterback has to just chuck it up right away so i'm gonna end the video there if you guys want to see more defenses like this hit the like button let me know in the comment section as always other than that i'll try to have a little link popping up here so you guys can check out more defensive videos from this playbook or it'll be in the description below other than that thanks for watching man my shout out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below.